Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can create an app uh, with an API. Um, the API I'm going to use is the one of uh, the Open Food Facts uh, non-profit organization. So what this um, non-profit organization is doing is like they are uh, grabbing thanks to a community uh, the different ingredients of uh, products which are, uh, which are sold in order to analyze them and uh, tell you if uh, somehow they are um, they have enough uh, nutrition if uh, they are nocive or if they are not uh, let's say uh, ecologically friendly and that kind of thing um, so what, what is really interesting on their website that they provide you with an API uh, that's uh, which is really easy uh, to see so you can just uh, click for example on this given link and as you can see if I click on it I'm gonna get a JSON file and this uh, JSON file is going to tell me that it's about um, it seems like it's rice noodles or something like this. Uh, but here I get all the ingredients and all the different uh, information about this given product. So here um, maybe I can get the product in itself. Uh, nutrition, a small front. Okay, front maybe. Uh, okay, so here those are uh, in fact high. Uh, rice noodles. Okay, so that's the given product. So what is great uh, within this database is as you can see the EAN which is the let's say identifier number for the product which uh, is represented by the barcode is provided to you by uh, the open food facts so which is really the, the most important. So, so to say uh, you only need to request this given URL. You just need to open your uh, QR code, uh, your um, barcode, and in fact you get uh, your JSON file. So it's kind of easy uh, to go and create uh, an app out of it. So of course they have their own apps, I will show it to you, but you can also uh, create your own app. So, so to say this is what I did here. I created an app in which I added the barcode scanner, in which I added the web component, and the idea is when I uh, launch the barcode, I grab the EAN, then I'm analyzing the results and then um, I'm going to say if it's nocive or not. Um, and in fact, I created my app like this. It's If I click on the button, then it's going to activate the scan. Then once the uh, scan is done, what it's going to do is that it's going to make an HTTP request to the API of uh, Open Food Facts, uh, where I append in fact the result of my barcode scan, bar barcode scan which represents the EAN. I get the JSON. Once I get the JSON, if it's um, a good request, then I'm then analyzing the content. If it contains the word onions, um, so for example here, um, let's imagine that I'm allergic to onion. What's going to say that it's going to display a message in order to say that I'm allergic. It's going to display this message in red. If not, I'm going to say uh, you can eat. And the advantage for me is that I'm going to create here an app which is not going to have that much detail as the official app of uh, the open food fact so it makes in fact uh, let's say the app more customized and according to my needs whereas actually the one of open food facts is giving probably to me more information that i need so i cannot make like a quick uh, decision and that's uh, everything that i want to uh, to show you so uh, here are the two products that i'm going to test so here i got a soup and as you can see i have a barcode which is over here and here is uh, a coffee pack and as you can see i get my uh, barcode which is uh, over here so um let's see now how uh, it's going to happen if i scan those two so with the official app from uh, open food fact that you can see uh, over here. So if I click on Open Food Facts, if I click on Scanner, if I scan uh, this one, yep, as you can see, it's giving me uh, the full information about the uh, about the product, but I get more than I need, right? So every time that I want to know, for example, if I'm allergic uh, to this given product based on an ingredient, I need to read everything like this. So probably I'm not interested in this. So uh, what I did is I created another uh, app which is called it or not it and uh, i can launch uh, the barcode scanner so it's going to scan this uh, barcode and say okay there's no onions within it so you can eat this one however for this one oops if i scan it this oops okay so it's telling me which is you can eat which sucks because normally it shouldn't say okay okay you are allergic 
Um, I don't know, probably it took the barcode uh, which was over here or I got a bug or something I need to fix, but you get the big uh, the big picture is that every time that um, the, let's say the product sheet for this given product is going to be displayed and if it includes the ingredients that I don't want, then it's going to display the word that I'm allergic to it. If not, I can edit. And that's everything that I wanted to show you how you can play with an API. Thanks for watching.